Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about Windows 11 24H2 and we're going to talk about the changes that Microsoft has done to Windows updates because in Windows 11 24H2, the updates are faster and also better. So in this video, we're going to try to discuss some of the changes and some of the new things that Microsoft has added related to Windows updates. If you enjoy videos like these that we do about Windows 11 24H2, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. I think the first First thing that you may have noticed for those of you who installed or upgraded to Windows 11 24H2 is that the update to Windows 11 24H2 itself was faster and that was one thing that I could notice even on my main computer. According to Microsoft, the updates in Windows 11 24H2 and also the cumulative updates should be around 40% faster compared to previous builds, for example Windows 11 22H2 or 23H2 and also around 15% less processor usage whenever you are downloading and installing updates that is also a really nice thing. One other thing that is better in Windows 11 24H2 is the fact that Microsoft is reducing the size of 24H2 builds and updates. So the updates should be around a few hundred megabytes smaller. And you may be asking, well, how is that possible? Well, in previous versions, Microsoft would have tried to reinstall all the apps that are present inside your operating system. For example, the apps that you have in the Microsoft Store. And it would re-download and of course install the latest builds of those apps. But in Windows 11 24H2, this is changed because Microsoft is now comparing the apps that you have on your system with the latest version of those apps and it won't reinstall any app that doesn't need to be reinstalled. And that's how they also reduce the size of the update and also the time it takes to install the update. There are also two different things that Microsoft is adding into 24H2, one of them being the checkpoint cumulative updates, which are basically some checkpoints that are the base for the next few updates. So for example, they install a bigger update, which is the baseline for a few more updates and those updates that are being released later will be very small and very fast updates because they are based on the platform that was provided by that checkpoint update which provided the baseline for those updates and there's also a new thing called hot patching but unfortunately Windows 11 24H2 Pro and Home won't get this feature this is only for enterprise computers and what this does basically it will allow certain systems to get updates without having to reboot the computer I think that is also a real nice thing, but that won't be a thing in Windows 11 24H2 Pro and Home, only Enterprise. Maybe the next Windows version, that could be Windows 11 25H2, we will be able to see hot patching also on the Pro and Home versions, but we don't know for sure. So these are pretty much the changes that Microsoft has done to updates. I think this is one of the many reasons that I strongly recommend you to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2. And of course, if you're looking forward to see other videos about Windows 11 24H2, other new important features and changes, please let me know below in the comments if you want more videos about this topic. But as a short recap, Windows 11 24H2 has smaller and faster updates. And with the introduction of checkpoint cumulative updates, the updates are also better and more reliable because of course, they're based on a platform that Microsoft keeps adding on with certain cumulative updates that are smaller. And of course, it's way easier to go back onto a certain update if something is not working out for you in that version. So for more information, of course, you can check out the article below. We're also going to have a official Microsoft.com documentation about checkpoint cumulative updates and more. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to Tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from Tech Base. Until next time, have a nice day.